ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the much anticipated, sought after Jack Ma's Foundation Africa's Business Hero Show. Tonight, 10 entrepreneurs from the African continent will pitch for a live competition for a share of $1 million in shared money. Of course, I had ambition to get to the first position. If we get the top prize, we're going to revolutionize the company. What was killing African women? We want to solve the malnutrition problem. I'm just the one that is the less afraid of being in front of you guys, honestly. Give science a chance in Africa. Two billion people still don't have access to clean water. You don't worry about competitors. Let the competitors worry about you. And the first to place. We need an initiative like this. It shows us entrepreneurship has the potential to take on big challenges and solve them. Yeah, so that's the crocodile. Two women have died and one man. So before they used to come and they're getting water here. That's how the crocodile would get people. Water is life, but this water is not life. This is death. Every day in Africa, 200 million hours that women lose on fetching water, just looking for water. They fetch that water and it's not even clean for their families. And if they drink the water without purifying, the kids will get sick, some people dying from diseases like diarrhea. Very fresh palm fruit. No. Everybody, palm fruit is useful. In Liberia, we have about 29,000 smallholder farmers who make palm oil. But a lot of those farmers remain in poverty. This is the traditional way of making palm oil. It's very hard work. Most farmers don't have access to machines, and so they have to use their hands. The same amount of work that it takes eight hours to do by hand, the machine can do the same amount of work in about 30 minutes. We have to be very careful. When I first went to Geneva, entered the lab and see all those high-tech equipment in one place, I felt like, wow, big, very big eyes. I do believe Egypt has a lot of bright-minded scientists, but unfortunately they don't have access to advanced scientific research facilities. I see a window that I have to go through very quickly. I want to start my project before someone else gets the idea. A central hub that works online. I think the best way to be an entrepreneur is to solve a problem. You know, we want to prove, look, we can offer a solution to the water crisis. We approach government, NGOs, and investors to help us come up with that money. We designed a new system that operated using solar pumps, a uh, Inuma kiosk. Basically, this is now an online platform, and then you choose the test you want to carry out. The courier will come to you, collect the samples, bring to us, we do the analysis, we send you the results back online. So the beautiful part of what we're doing is, regardless of your place, you can do amazing scientific job. So when Inuma water was flowing, I was so full of joy. It was like, guys, this is working. This is finally working. The family only has to pay so $0.1 for every 10 liters. So right now, 47,600 people we are using our water points on a regular basis. I'm so excited we received uh, the reply from uh, our client. He says here, impressive work, many thanks, and I feel very proud of my team. Yeah, 
farm kernels. In the past, it was waste, yeah. but now it's money. For every dollar of palm oil sold, compared to the skincare products, the, the difference is about 46 times, so that we can make the business model more solid and more sustainable to enable us to buy more palm kernels and impact the lives of, of more farmers. We have so many people in this country who have dreams, who have big goals, big ambitions, but they don't have the means, they don't have the resources. They die with those dreams. The first time I heard about AMPI, finding business heroes was something that appealed to me. Many people don't really see business as a viable path. And so it's important for us to be able to share our stories. I joined NPI because it was calling for entrepreneurs who have earned the right to dream. Uh, people across the world will be watching. So this is an amazing opportunity to deliver the core story of Noah. I like it. Anything that's not here right now, it won't happen on the show. So there's nothing I can change. It's good, I just have to go and go through with it. Each single African country is suffering from the problem as well. So we'll see how things will go. and gentlemen, and welcome to the Africa's Business Hero Show. Crystal Quizera is from Rwanda. Blackboot Johnson. Oba Sak. Temi Giwa Tabusun. Please welcome Temi. LifeBank is a medical distribution company we help hospitals find the critical supplies they need to save their patients. Transfer blood is perfect enough. Thank you very much. Thank Good. you. I this is going to be one of the winners. Everyone is a rising star. Additionally, we've created a market for the palm kernels, so that instead of wasting them... I think you need marketing skills, okay? You are very hard to compete with if you have a 70% of margin competitors will come. Businesses actually have a bigger chance to address the water crisis than governments. So why do you need the money from here? Because I care about the water crisis. Three contestants will be the next round. Christiana Quizella, Tammy Giwa, Alma Sakra. Uh, everybody is a winner today. I see on the stage it says Africa's business heroes and I looked up the definition of heroes. Is A hero is a person who is a mire for their courage. I'm now 25. When you get successful so early, there are a lot of challenges. Never apologize to anybody for your age. Leave some room to read something else about the world. And the first place. I'm the only science-based startup that made it to the finalist. It's a great responsibility. This problem that we're solving exists across the world. I don't want to win just because I'm the youngest. I want to win because I'm the best. Tammy Jiwa. And you did a great, great job. I think I have more confidence in Africa, more confidence in the young people and entrepreneurs. This is the first time we have this program and we will continue to do it to inspire, support, and enable African young people and entrepreneurs.